Hey guys. Um, morning. Nikki's been having meltdowns all morning, and um, I know it's difficult to watch sometimes, but I do post his meltdowns as morning. well as our good days because I think it's important for people to see. Um, I know a lot of pain, and he doesn't really understand why he's in pain or you know why he's had to go through his wisdom teeth surgery. And um, <laughs> he's not getting any sleep, and he's very agitated. Um, Trying to comfort him. Um, usually stroking his hair or rubbing his back helps. Uh, ah! oh, you're okay. Try to distract him with, you know, his movies and his toys, that sort of thing. Um, you know, and then there are just sometimes, you know, that that works. And there are times that nothing that I try works and I just need to ride it out with him. And let him just yell it out. Because this is his way to communicate. This is his way to let me know, um, you know, that he's in discomfort and he's in pain. And um, I'm sure even emotionally, you know, this is difficult for him to cope with. Oh. Uh, especially not understanding things the way that we understand them. He has no idea, you know, why he has to go to doctors and, and have his teeth taken out. Um, so the confusion causes a lot of anxiety for him. You know, it's to be expected. You know, so a lot of times I just have to ride it out with him and just let him yell it out and get it out of himself because he can't talk the way that we can when we're upset about things. You know, we call our friends and we vent for like an hour and we just, you know, get it all out of our system in that way and express ourselves. Um, you know, he doesn't have the luxury of doing that. And, um, you know, we just have to have that level of empathy as parents and as a community to understand that about our kids, you know. Um, he's, he's trapped inside there and he can't let out his emotions and his feelings. Um, it's just heartbreaking for me. It's why I write about it and that's why I speak about it. And um, I talk about the reality of this. You know, this is our reality. This is what parents like me go through at home. Um, you know, we watch our children, you know, yell for hours on end because they can't communicate and because they're upset. And it's their only way. Rawr! It's okay. Rawr! I have to watch my 20 year old son you know, make animal sounds and things like that to express himself. It's very difficult for parents like me. So um, that's why you know I try to bring awareness to this issue. Yes! This, isn't, this isn't easy. You know, um, it requires a lot of patience, a lot of love, and understanding. Um, you know, from, from our family and friends too. You know, just knowing that this is what we go through, and to you know try to offer a helping hand. Okay. 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 Cry. Okay. So luckily for me, I've had a lot of support lately from friends and family, and I appreciate all of you, and I love all of you. Um, but I really just, you know, I wanted to show what this is like. It's very difficult to deal with, and it's difficult to watch him, you know, be upset like this. It makes me very sad, but I have to stay focused and patient and uh, understanding and try to keep my emotions in control so that I can help him. If my emotions get out of control and I become, you know, um, impatient with him, it's not going to help him calm down any sooner. So, um, Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I appreciate all your love and support. Thank you.